But if Chief Fick is running names for you guys, I'd lose my ass. We definitely don't want that to happen. Oh, sorry, Jules. Mention Juliet's roller derby awesomeness, huh? Maniac, maniac, maniac. I can't get anything from these people. They're murderers, Sean. They're going away for life. I gotta study. I'm returning my equipment. What are you doing here? I'm just hanging, you know, chilling. It's actually feeling a little nostalgic. <laughs> Remember when we cracked that case here and the criminals turned out to be roller derby girls? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Gosh, seems like it was just yesterday. Probably because it was yesterday. Why are you wearing skates? Oh yeah, look at that. I guess I am. I don't know, uh, I guess I just thought it was a shame. that We have this big, beautiful track and no one to skate on it. It's also been a long while since I've had a good blister. Hmm. This will be a couple skate. Couples only. Come on. Sean. Oh. Oh. Did you do that on purpose? No. Maybe. Okay, yes. Yes, I did. No hands. Jules. Hi. What are you? Evidence, turn these over to me. I think they're Gus's shoes. So I just, um, I thought I'd bring them by and drop them off. <laughs> that is very sweet of you. You can burn them. What? He was devastated the whole way home. He cried about them already. On my shoulder, like a baby. I just put him down, he's resting now. So what is this? What am I seeing here? This is the uh, returning footwear to a friend outfit? Oh, Cameron had to cancel tonight. No. Yeah. No! Yeah, he said he took like four showers, but he still couldn't get that sewer smell out of his skin. Oh, jeez, that damn sewer. We wrapped everything up so nicely so that you guys could... But you know what? The man followed a hunch, and that's all you can ask from a guy. Hey, follow your hunches, and he did. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you kids, but you gave it a real shot, a fair shot. Sean, I'm seeing him tomorrow night. Really? Wow, that's so fast on the rescheduling. It's no conflicts either way, huh? Yeah, we'll see. Well, I should go. Hey, uh, have, you, have, you, uh, have you eaten? No. Nope. Well, I can't offer anything as fancy as uh, Mario's, but uh, what do you think of a ballpark Frank and a stroll on the boardwalk? It is golden time. I've been told I... Uh, I look pretty good in that lighting. Really? It's true. Is that right? <laughs> they plump when you cook them. They plump. <sighs> Literally. As the temperature rises, the wiener absorbs all additional moisture, causing it to double, <laughs> sometimes hey. even triple in diameter. Oh, wow. We had a fight. He totally overreacted. Back in the day, his sister and I had this teeny weeny little fling. Ew. You're going to take his side. I can't believe this. I'm just saying it's a little inappropriate. Don't worry, it was way before I knew you. Well, why would that matter? It might. It doesn't. It could. It won't. Let's carry on. 
Listen, I don't know if this is the right time to ask, but what about Sean? What about him? I don't know. Something intriguing, you know, odd. It's refreshing. I was thinking of letting him know that I'm uh, available, <laughs> you know, and all that. What do you think? I um, don't know. Is there a problem? No, no, there's no problem. Um, well, listen, anything else I can do, please. You really are amazing. How about dinner? Mm. You and me. A very dark restaurant. I'll bring some candles in case it's too dark. That's something I like to do. Listen, Sean, I, um, I really would love to. Sweet. Uh, but I don't want to get in the way. Get in the way? Yeah. I like her. And I think you two will get there. So. Thanks for everything. All right, let's get this done fast. We got 10 other spots to check today. They said the locker room guy has a key, and he's on the field. All right, I want to see all the kickers trying out on the field right now. It's right. It's real. Feel free to drink it in. Yes, it's my day off. The case is over. What do you and Sean want me to see anyway? That. Ladies and gentlemen, here come your Los Angeles Thunder. Jules, what are you doing here? What I mean is, you know, who, who's gonna fit Mr. Yang with her straitjacket and iron mask with face grill? Something tells me there's an entire precinct of officers bidding on that job right now. Uh, can I interest you in a, uh, a Necco wafer? Sean, can you just not talk for a few seconds? Look, I just wanted to tell you that what you did today, I mean, I can't imagine being able to function at that level while your mom was, you know, I am uh, clearly not as good with words as you are. And um, I know that things between us have been a little complicated. And that there have probably been some mixed signals, mostly for me, with regards to the time that we spend together outside of the line of duty. Look, Jules. I... Sh just, please just let me finish stumbling through this. I'm almost done, I promise. <sighs> what I'm saying is that I think maybe the best things, the richest things, aren't supposed to come easily. And that sometimes the moments that make the most sense happen when everything else doesn't. And, well, I think you deserve more than popcorn tonight. So why don't you let me take you to dinner? Detective O'Hara, are you asking me out on a date? I am. A proper one. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe this. <clears throat> All this time, and <laughs> your timing is just awful. It is? Yeah, it's just dreadful. What? I can't go to dinner with you, Jules. I'm already on a date. You are? What, here? Yeah, right, right now. It's, it's weird, it's a little weird, but, uh, yeah, with Abigail. The one that got away. Yeah. Get out there. She's not gonna wait forever. Jules, I'm so sorry for snapping at you earlier. I know. <laughs>